Hey, I'm there. I'm here to show you how to get out of these rugged terrains of Australia. I've served in the scouting for many years. Hi, I'm Croc. I'm an experienced fisherman. Places of in Australia alive. Uh, it's two o'clock here. We've arrived, and we it's time to get some shelter. So. Uh, so the technique is to get on 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 the place where you want to cut. Get a big club, <laughs> club and hack. for the camera there. <laughs> okay, so we just spotted some soldier crabs running around and this might be our dinner tonight. Look at the big group over the back mate, get them. Got one? Yeah. Okay, so we got a um, soldier crab here. Alright, now we've got to eat him here now. Ready? How's that tasting? Very salty and crunchy. <laughs> just out on the foreshore out on the beach, we just got the sand crabs. And what you have to look for is just the moving sand. And there's heaps of those things there, so we're not going to eat them. So we've got our wood to make our A-frame shelter tonight. And we're just looking for a bit of lantana that will be able to secure our ourselves up above the above the ground tonight. So we're just um, cutting up a bit of land tenor here for the um, A-frame tent. Just to secure it. And just in the bush here, the mozzies are at their extreme worst. We're going to have... Okay, so there's some cactus here. We're just cutting some off. Um, we know that it's edible. Um, the edible cactus is determined by its uh, round paddle shape and stuff. Okay, what we've done, we've just gone to look for some food um, just out here. Um, there's a bit of reef, as you can see, and we've caught about seven odd sand crabs, which will be our dinner. We've also found some mussels right out in about water this deep. And um, we're going to throw them on the fire, crack them open, and eat them. Okay, so here's a little crab down here. What I'm going to do, I'm um, just kick him out. We'll get him out. There we go. And then my knife will just go as soon as he gets his claws off. Straight through him like that, and he'll be dead immediately. Just about. Yeah. Good deal. So that's going to make some really good dinner with the other ones that we've got. And of course, we've got a fire. We've just we put all this firewood and we've, we've just put some dead grass on the bottom and we've got some smaller sticks and I've just got fire steel. It's, it's a really good flint, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so the fire's going up now. Um, the soft stuff, it's lit. So now we're just putting the big stuff on so it can slowly burn and cook our dinner. Good job. So that's all our sand crabs that we've had found all, all this throughout the day. So they're going to make a great dinner. We're just going to put them on the blazing fire that we've got. And they'll slowly um, just cook on the fire, I guess. Yeah, and the, with the leaf, um, we've got that from that tree over there, as you can see. Just pulled one off. And um, we're just going to wrap it up, wrap the crabs up inside it, and put it on the fire. Approximately 7 o'clock. We've got a fire going. Um, a bit boring, actually. The uh, sand crabs weren't really enough for us, so we're still a little bit hungry, and we're just going to wait just for the tide to come in a little bit more so we can try and get some fish to cook up, which would be really good. And our bed, bed, there's 
bit. So it's not going too well here on Green Island, but you can see you guys all at home just with all those lights on everywhere. So we'll keep you updated. Hi, it's about 9 o'clock at 9 p.m. We haven't managed to get any sleep yet, but we're just warming up by the fire. Might go for a fish later on. It's a bit of a little little fire but we don't need it too big, it's just really just to keep us warm at the moment. So we'll see how the night turns out. Yep. Uh, we're just fishing here at about quarter past ten, half past ten at night. Um, hopefully we can get something to eat or a um bit of a snack since we didn't have that good of a um, dinner. So What we can see here is some anchor marks. So, so it shows that this island's been has been used before. So, hopefully, we can spot a boat in the distance on tomorrow morning, and that that could be a great way to finish on a positive note. Our proud sponsors for this trip were Brought to you by Morton Bay Scenic Tours Number one supporter mum Katie is the best Emily and Susie And the ultimate Danadon They supported this trip and they raised a bit of money for me So hopefully I can buy a bit of camping gear Beautiful day, as you can see, the wind's calmed off a fair bit. Hopefully, some, um, the day will attract some fishermen and sailors, and this could possibly be our ticket home. So we're really, really excited about today. So let's get ready to get home, pack up our stuff, and get home. Go. Okay, it's a beautiful day. The sun's coming up. It's about 5 a.m. The winds are calmed down. Hopefully, today attracts beautiful, big sailing boats out to this island. We're hoping there's some fishing boats as well, fishing the reef out here. We never know what could happen today. Hopefully today's our, way, our day that we can get home. Whether it be on a massive cruise ship, a sailing boat, a little pinny having a fish out the back. I can't wait to get home. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm sick. I'm sick of this. Behind the scenes. Yeah, are we gonna do like a full vlog? Yeah, I'll film you. You do your thing now. You film it as well. Stand back, stand back, 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 back. And when you do, you get, I'm gonna go Katie Dwyer, number one supporter. That's so bright, and then you go. It's gonna be bright, but you're gonna have to get that get behind. Stand, stand up. The Croc Bear Diaries was brought to you by Professor Crumnick and Connie Moonface.